Okay, um, I'm going to be doing a series of videos, presentations, based on the stories I've written, since that's what you all said you wanted to see in the poll on where I, what direction I was taking the channel in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by segmenting these into segments, wherein I will uh, cover each item like a building block, so to speak, on uh, the key pertinence that I want people to pay attention to or focus in on, which will further your understanding and maybe highlight some things that you might have overlooked or didn't realize were so critical and important. Um, but that will be the next series I go into. Uh, so in a nutshell, I'll begin by highlighting the importance of organization. Because that's like the key building block of building blocks, right? So, <laughs> in all the stories, um, from the American perspective, and even from the enemy one, the invader one, you have organization being a key tenant of, of both sides, and how they... Uh, struggled against each other and the sides that are the most organized did the best which would be your professional armed forces versus whereas you have like these lackluster uh, loosely organized um, you know partisan elements or you know militia type forces which are called partisans or insurgents guerrillas whatever you want to call them uh, but either way, you have these lackluster forces that were poorly organized. Um, but, I mean, they made that kind of work in their favor, but in strange sorts of ways. I mean, you know, when they were able to, they formed, like, confederations where they could loosely work together, as you saw that theme develop throughout the stories. But they didn't start out that way, which was their big downfall. In fact, at the very beginning, they're not organized at all. I mean, because you literally are taking people living the pace of their life as they live it right now, and then you smack them with this situation and you say, hey, you guys have to, like, clump together now and, and form some sort of a force. You know, you just don't have that right now. And that wouldn't be a thing in any sort of a foreign invasion. You're not all of a sudden in most places, I say most, you're not all of a sudden going to have groups of people all uh, just know in, intuitively to band together and what they have to do, how to gather intelligence, how to form scouting parties, how to do all these things. You're not going to have that. I mean, on, on a large scale, you're not. You're just not. It's going to take some time to get there. So that's why the Americans do so poorly at first. Um, you have people step up like leaders as you saw as a theme throughout the story. And it's generally your people with experience, your people that um, had either been to war or were maybe not deployed before, but had at least the training. You know, they at least understood. They had a basic concept. Um, those were like your key cornerstones of these types of elements. Because your average Joe Blow or, or, or redneck Billy Bob isn't going to know how to do any of that stuff. They're, they're not. They don't. They don't have no concept of, like, tactics or battle drills or strategy or basic anything. They just don't, you know? I mean, you're not going to see, you know, Billy Bob, like, run out and, and slap something together that is rem even remotely effective against uh, concentrated forces with armor and artillery, rockets, uh, air support, uh, attack helo gunships, uh, you're just not going to have it. I mean, you know, Billy Bob and his, and his, and his shotgun ain't going to even scratch the paint on those, you know, armored personnel carriers or tanks or light tanks or, a, you know, or IFVs, the infantry fighting vehicles. They're just not. So that is a key component of the main thing to look at in these stories is, okay, what was the level of organization? How did it come to be? How did it progress over time? Who stepped up? Who didn't? Um, 
how did they coordinate and you know with each other how did they how did they you know uh delegate responsibilities within their elements you know those are important things to look at in each story so i started with this the next video about the stories that i wrote will cover uh preparedness items that were necessary and that made them successful versus what didn't. So may Yeshua bless and keep you all always.